I am not who I am without the, the organization of Bellator and the heartbeats and the people that I love so much that I've been able to share this, share this experience with for the last 10 years. So we'll see what happens. Every single lightweight on the entire planet, you're on the clock, you're on notice. Chandler has just equaled the Bellator MMA submission record. Now giving up his back. career by way of first round TKO. Round number one, stapping the black trunks. Oh, Chandler good right hand. On black trunks. Chandler said he wanted to test his stand up early and he does, that was a good right hand. Jason Herzog, the referee, taking a really close look at this ground and pound from the former Missouri University Tiger, Scott Stapp. You see Stapp trying to, pu Stapp trying to pull him down into his guard, but Chandler keeping his posture up, still trying to rain down that ground and pound. Chandler was an NCAA Division I Wrestling All-American his senior year at, at MU. He's been on his back virtually the entire fight thus far. Caught immediately by Chandler just after the opening bell. Almost in full mount, needs to get over that knee, and there he is, there full is mount. Full mount achieved by Michael Chandler. Reverse hammer fist there. Chandler's getting a little out of position here. He needs to turn back, and that's exactly what he does. Hooking the leg and letting go with the right hand. Another right hand, then another. Watch your fingers on top. That's a hard shot. Those are big shots, Jimmy. I think he's just covering up. I think he's going to unload. I think he's going to look for the stoppage right here. I'm going to stop it. You hear Herzog say he's going to stop it. Scott Stapp needs to do something here. Butter, you got to go. Unanswered shots. That's it. That's it. There's the stoppage. First round TKO win in his Bellator debut for Michael Chandler. Oh, that's a wicked cut under the eye of Scott Stapp. Beautiful job by Michael Chandler. In the white trunks. No surprise there. Page came in way too tall. You know Chandler's looking for the takedown and he gets it. Page looking for the arm bar. Mike England is the referee. Page trying to stay active with his guard. Page said that he wanted to fight from this position on his back and work for submissions. Oh, that's a dangerous place to be. Chandler has excellent ground and pound. We saw that last time. Page had a lot to say, very quotable in his fighter meeting. He said that Chandler is a Brock Lesnar mini-me. I said, what do you mean by that? He said he's got two things, a takedown and ground and pound. That's it. Well, those two things lead to victory. What else do you need? That's the important part. His quote also was, the only way I'll lose this fight is if I trip and fall on my way to the cage. Well, Chandler now going for the guillotine. Oh, he's going hard for it. That's he's a got tight it. guillotine. That's the tap. No trip and fall, but a guillotine victory for Michael Chandler just like that. Uh, he's fallen now in the middle of the cage. Held on a little too long with that guillotine. What I like is he didn't pull guard. He didn't lose position, stood right up. And look at the power of Chan lifting him off the ground. That is strength, my friend. Round number one. Martin held in the white trunks, Michael Chandler in the blue trunks. Gary Copeland is the referee. Our Bellator clock is presented by PSP. Step your game up. PSP now just 129. Matt Chandler coming in very aggressively. Not surprisingly, going for the takedown. This our now, now rolling for a leg lock. This our opening lightweight tournament quarterfinal. Two young fighters held, as we mentioned, just 19 years old. Chandler, five years older at 24. Held, held's trying to straighten out that leg, going hard for the knee bar. He might have it. Going for the knee bar. Chandler said the only way he could conceivably lose is by a leg lock. Uh, that is a straight lock. He is putting everything behind it, but Chandler just is not tapping out. Huge crank on that straight. Now going for the toe hold, trying to transition. Knee bar to the toe hold, huge crank there. Chandler trying to punch his way out. But hard to get the leg out once it's in that position, you have to put a lot of weight on it. And that's what he's trying to do, put weight on that leg, trying to put that foot on the ground. Hell just going very hard for this knee bar. Held still holding with the ankle. Man, furious start to this fight. Problem is that if Chandler gets out, he's on top. Chandler said, Jimmy, that's what he was working on specifically for this fight, leg lock defense. Well, he defended that leg lock. He did. Now looking to ground and pound. Dive in right hand, and Marcin held closes guard, now opens guard, trying to walk it up. 
Warning to Michael Chandler from referee Gary Copeland about elbows on the ground. Oh, good right hands by Chandler, though. Chandler with a big right hand. Chandler just popping up, throwing that right hand. I see a lot of blood on Marcin Held. Looks like Chandler might be bleeding somewhere, maybe out of the nose. Held now holding half guard. Holding his arm. Look, he might be looking for an arm triangle, but needs to step out of that half guard position to get it. That's a great position for a wrestler, and he has it. Held grabbing his leg and straightening it to get space. But oh. now he's done. There's the stoppage and the win for Michael Chandler. I didn't see a tap and maybe a technical submission, but Chandler is through to the semifinals. Held is still on the ground. I think he passed out. That's a great job by the referee. Gets out of half guard. Held here trying to get space between his left arm and his neck, but cannot get it. You see right here, he passes out. Great stoppage by the referee. Patricky Pitbull, round number one. And the question is, how long will Chandler stand and bang with Woodard? Jason Herzog is the referee. And he's just coming forward like there is no tomorrow. Roy Woodard is in the white trunks. Michael Chandler is in the yellow trunks. <laughs> and he's capable of doing that. Just manhandling Lloyd Woodard in that clinch. That was almost a four-on body slam, Jimmy. Because Chandler was crouched, he was not a grounded opponent. Great job by the referee, Jason Herzog. Oh, oh, good right hand. It was the right hand as Chandler was trying to throw the left body kick. To land punches early in the round. Head Chandler kick. got the takedown, didn't do as much with it in that round. Head kick a moment ago by Chandler, not full impact. And Chandler still fighting with a lot of energy, still moving forward. Now it's Woodard on his bicycle. Straight left hand by Chandler. Oh, good right hand. A couple of minutes is a good statement by Michael Chandler. I still have Let energy. Go. I still want to fight. Now that was a big takedown, full slam. Head kick by Woodard, and another driving takedown. I just couldn't control him, though. Put a little too much energy into the takedown. Woodard tried to slide on the guillotine, but he lost it on the takedown. Now Woodard moving to the back. Chandler just too slick. Yeah, it's, it's hard to outscramble an experienced wrestler like this. You try and get around them, take their back, you're playing with fire. See Woodard's head flat against the mat. Chandler is exhausted. Chandler back at half guard, but throwing with a big right hand. Still looking to throw heavy shots from the top. Big right hands by Chandler. Matt Chandler still pouring it on. The back the end of the fight. Oh, you can see here, Chandler, a lot of energy at the end. I think he took that third round. We'll have to see if the judges agree. When we return, we will... I have to agree with Jamie. Oh, oh good right, right hand. Off right there. Uh, but I want to agree with Jamie. I think Mike, Mike took the first round. More aggressive, uh, keeps his movement well, and I, I'll give it 10-9. Uh, oh, caught him with the Chandler. knee. Chandler backing off. He's in the black trunks. Patricky Pitbull, the Brazilian, is in the white trunks. Man, Chandler just bowling forward. That's a slip by Chandler, flying knee by Pitbull. Man, these guys are letting it all hang out in this round. Oh, bad shot to the cup. That was time called knee. again. The second time in this fight, the time has been called for a low blow by referee Keith Peterson. Good left hand by Chandler on the inside. Straight left by the Brazilian. Patricky not keeping that right hand high. That's how that left is sneaking in. Bad oh, mouse. good left. Bad mouse under the left eye of Michael Chandler. Oh, now these guys are getting after it, man. Get caught by Chandler. Drives his man back and down. I think that is, is exactly what Chandler needed. I think he was losing the stand-up battle, but now he's exactly where he wants to be. Now high level wrestling versus high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Round, I think he should should finish up with the takedown. There you go. Now Shot you're by Chandler. Good hips by Patricky, staying on his feet. But that's the difference with those solid Division I guys, all Americans. They shoot in, they keep going until they get the takedown. It's not just a sprawl and they stand back up. He's gonna keep driving. The yeah. blood on the rib cage there, Patricky Pitbull is from Chandler as he goes for a big slam. I just want it to look like that. Patricky's going to be able to do much to finish it out. And you see Patricky when he's on his back, his head flat on the ground. That's a sign that he is tired. Big right hands by Chandler. Outstanding performance by Michael Chandler. $100,000 in a title fight versus Bellator's lightweight world champion, Eddie Alvarez, is what the winner of this bout will receive. The season for Bellator lightweight.
tournament champion, Michael Chandler. Five, five minute rounds for the Bellator Lightweight World Championship. This is the champion, Eddie Alvarez, for Bellator's Lightweight World Championship. The bell in round number one. How much time will Eddie spend on the feet? That's an important part of this fight. Good left hand. Chandler is in the black trunks. The champ oh, he got him. in the white trunks. He hurt him back. Chandler He's letting go. Alvarez in all sorts of trouble trying to hold on. A good right hand by Eddie. Troy Wall was seconds away from stopping this fight in favor of Chandler. Eddie could still be rocked. Remember, Eddie gets rocked in every fight and manages to come back. But you know he is still in trouble. Alvarez said, one of us is going to win inside of two rounds. If that doesn't happen, this will go all 25 minutes. I thought that was a remarkable statement from the champion. Could be a statement of bad luck because he got rocked. Parcel is all over him. Chandler. Alvarez trying to fire back to the body. Bouncing the step of Eddie Alvarez. And I think Chandler establishes not to be taken lightly on the feet. Jimmy, I'm telling you, referee Troy Wall was about to step in and stop the fight in favor of Chandler. I'm glad he didn't. Eddie was able to stay on his feet. Didn't look hurt like he was hurt that bad. They able to come back. Another good right hand. Great inside right on the counter by Alvarez. His best punch of the fight thus far. Good body work by Eddie. Chandler. Now starting to kind of find his rhythm. Chandler went for the leg, couldn't find it. Alvarez to the body. Eddie dropped by Joachim Hansen. Tatsuya Kawajiri came back to win both of those fights. Roger Huerta dropped him as well. He did. Trying to take his back. Good job by Chandler. Chandler too slick. Out the back door, a single leg, then Alvarez slick back to his feet. Younger fighter, I think that's important. Little games and shit there. Great knee. Oh, that was a big knee as Chandler Another dropped. good right. Good overhand right by Alvarez. Chandler missing with the left. Bouncing the step of Alvarez. Chandler trying to pounce. Lead by Chandler, good uppercut. Final seconds of round number one. An amazing round number one. Oh, dropped to the right game. Right hand by Chandler, looking to finish before the bell. Chandler pops his head free. Both fighters so sweaty right now, Jimmy, it's tough to get a standing guillotine in those gloves, as you know. Chandler looked down, I don't know if there was some kind of problem there. Alvarez trying to let the hands go. Chandler pulls away on his bicycle. And he's turning it on now. Alvarez trying to let go with that. Another good right, good hand. right hand. He could be looking for the finish Alvarez here, Sean. Stuck in mode now. Chandler trying to fire back. Big shots from the champion. To the body now for Eddie Alvarez. Uppercut. Straight left hand by Alvarez. Chandler missing with a counter right. I think it was up. It looks just about spent, but he is still very dangerous, and Eddie knows that. Body lock now by Alvarez. Alvarez seeing things go his way here in round number three. Letting go with the hands. Chandler missing with that right hand. Alvarez keeping his boxing tight. Alvarez to the body. Chandler missing with that jump in knee. But he's taking big gulping breaths, and he is so exhausted. I think those body shots just took so much out. Now he's in big trouble. Alvarez sensing the end, trying to let go with the hands, trying to find the finish here in round three. Chandler so tough firing back. But Chandler's still loading up. You see just unloading at the ribs. Gassed at the end of that third round, but still coming forward, still throwing with a lot of fire in this fourth round. Here's this shot. Oh, good right hand. Big right hand by Chandler. His best punch since round one, then the left. Windmill right by Chandler, just missed the mark. A bad Good uppercut forming under the left eye of Michael Chandler. Oh, another big right hand, he's hurt! He's hurt badly! Chandler now pouncing. Alvarez bleeding terribly out of the mouth. Chandler letting go with the full on ground and pound. He needs to get space, he needs to get up right now. Chandler, Michael Chandler is all over him. Chandler trying to move the side control and he has it. Chandler, knee on belly, passes. Beautiful pass now. Into mount for Michael Chandler. Eddie has great recovery, but he's mounted right now. Now giving up 
Trump is back! Chandler looks That's it! Down. Look at Trump! There's the top! And we have a new champion! Michael Chandler is Bellator's new lightweight world champion! The new Bellator lightweight world champion, Michael Chandler! Gono, true to his word, being infinitely patient thus far. Chandler jumping in. Big oh, right hand! Right. Gono's in all sorts of trouble. Chandler's looking to finish, and he does! A lightning strike win for the champion, Michael Chandler, just like that. And got through, but it was bang! That straight right hand. Gono curling up and just getting teed off on. Bang, right on the chin. Unloads on the head, but look at the speed of Michael Chandler. Man unloaded. Our Q goes for the takedown there. Look at that power. Hawk had the wide defensive base. It was yeah. snuck up and driven down by Chandler. That's just a chest to chest. Really not posturing up to land big strikes. One hook in. Hard to take the back up against the fence. Now going for what we call a power half in wrestling. The power half Nelson really cranks the neck. Something that we rarely see in MMA. Right hands, those are blocked. Yeah, it's not a jiu-jitsu thing, it's pure wrestling. That's a strong dude. But for the full suplex, still got to take down the Chandler. Now he has the back. And looking for the rear naked finish. That is tight, but there's the tap. And Michael Chandler successfully oh. retains. Not just successfully, dominantly against Rick Hahn. That was unexpected. Arm under the neck, and look at that hip pressure. Bending Rick Hahn all the way back with his hip pressure. Man, beautiful job by the champ. Our fight, fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. See the size advantage already. Chandler, though, very fast with his hands. David Rickles is in the purple and green trunks. The champion Michael Chandler is in the white trunks. Body kick lands from Rickles. A lot of head movement early from the champion Michael Chandler. Snapping that jab. Counter left. Good right. Regular speed, fast jab, bang! Right hand on the top, look at this flurry to end the fight. You, look at this, flicking that jab out, snapping his head back, and then this beautiful counter right, look at this. That follow up, the speed on the follow up, that is what is so impressive. It's very high for Compers. He told us, Jimmy, he's worked a lot on his boxing. Trying to be crisp, trying to be clean. Man, Good left hand. With the jab and the right hand. Right from Campos. Big right hand from Chandler. Campos cannot see these punches coming. Chandler showing the speed advantage. Short left hand by Chandler. That was quick. Campos firing back with the right hand. Oh, big right hand by Chandler. Mike England taking a really close look. Big hand. Rights, left, Chandler looking to finish early in round one. And Kapos is in big trouble. He is still rocked, and Chandler not letting him off the hook. Kapos trying to find the armbar, eats a huge elbow from Chandler. This is exactly the kind of performance Chandler wanted in his hometown. Close guard now from Kapos. Jackhammer elbows and forearms, and Kapos explodes back to his feet. It wouldn't surprise me if Campos went for the takedown now. He is getting outboxed cleanly by Michael Chandler. Campos said my striking is better than Chandler by far, but Chandler very crisp with his stand-up early on. Big belly-to-back suplex for the takedown. Dumped him right on his head. Looking for the rear naked choke. Both hooks in for Chandler. Good defensive turn to his hit by Campos. More right hands from Chandler. And this fight turning into a wipeout for Michael Chandler. 
And he's got the rear naked. That is tight. That is deep under the chin. And there's the tap. And just like that, Michael Chandler is back. Michael Chandler, who ripped the belt away from Eddie Alvarez. Pure dominance on the feet and on the ground. The reaction of this St. Louis crowd for their fighter, Michael Chandler. And you saw the huge exhale in victory. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful right hand over the top. That was the beginning of the end for Derek Campos. Chandler busy, active, versatile. Never let him off the hook, never gave him a second to breathe after that right hand. But here was the end. Beautiful rear naked choke underneath the chin. Power hits in the right place. Just like he finished Rick Hahn. A powerful rear naked choke. No one could have escaped that. Beautiful finish by Michael Chandler. Absolute dominance in the cage for that man, Michael Chandler. How does it feel and what's next? Missouri is the greatest place in the entire world. My heart and soul is here. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for coming out. Give me whoever. I want that belt back. Will Brooks, that belt's got my name on it, wherever you are.